Hi, my name is Mrs. Kathy, and this is K5Tunes.com. I'm with Covina Valley Unified Schools, and today we're going to be learning our first pieces of information we need to know about the trumpet. This is the B-flat trumpet, and there are two basic parts that you need to know about the trumpet. When you first get your instrument out of the case, make sure that you're setting the instrument down, or the instrument case down, on a hard surface like maybe a table or the floor or even your chair and then once you get the instrument out make sure that the case is away from your feet you don't want to be having the case down and then your feet on top of it so we have the main body of the trumpet and then we have the mouthpiece and we're really going to be looking at how to buzz into the mouthpiece today. You probably notice that I'm sitting on a chair, though of course trumpet players can be uh, playing standing, but probably in your class you're going to be sitting. And we want to make sure that we're sitting tall. We don't want to be sitting all slouched over. So if you have a chair that it's easy for you to sit tall without sitting on the front edge of your chair, that would be fine. But most of the time in our situations in the classroom, we do need to sit on the front edge of our chair in order to make sure that the core of our body is sitting tall. I'm going to place the trumpet down for now, and you notice that I'm going to place it on a table, not sitting on the floor with the bell down. Sometimes you might have seen some professionals putting their instrument down like that. Well, they have a stand on the inside that maybe you haven't seen, but they have a stand that helps to hold the instrument up. You probably don't have a stand like that. So when you're placing your instrument down, make sure that you've put it inside the case or on the floor or maybe on a table. So this is a mouthpiece for the trumpet and the mouthpiece actually we will be buzzing into. So as we buzz we're going to just um, take the mouthpiece in one hand and you're going to lick your lips to moisten them and then you're going to squeeze your lips a little bit. This part of your mouth once again is going to be tight and you're going to buzz. Sounds very funny, almost like a duck, doesn't it? Now, trumpet can make many sounds with just uh, one certain kind of fingering with your fingers. Clarinet has to change your fingers almost on almost every note, different note, in order to get a different sound. But the trumpet is very different. Instead, the trumpet has to change the pitch or change the sound by how tight or loose your lips are. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to practice having our lips go tight, a little bit looser, and then very loose. So listen to the difference. I'm going to do a tight sound first. Now a medium sound. And now a low sound. Did you hear all three of those pitches? It's going to be very important for you to be able to tighten, be a little bit looser, and then loose. So your first assignment is to take just the mouthpiece and to practice buzzing once again, this is a little bit tight, and you're going to buzz to make those different sounds. Listen to it when I put it all together. Notice how I went from high to low to high to low to high. So it's a really good exercise for you to do. You can also practice just doing a long stream of air for four seconds, either high, middle, or low. Make sure that you're having the stream of air have the same sound the entire time instead of going high to low to high. That's another really good exercise because when you put the instrument together with the rest of the trumpet, you're going to want to have a long stream of air for the first notes that we have in our book. So that gives you a little idea of how to get a sound on your instrument. Now I'm going to show you the very complicated part about putting the instrument together. Here it is. Mouthpiece goes into the channel. That's it. You're so fortunate because clarinet players have many, many pieces. You have one piece. That will do it for learning our very first steps about learning to play the trumpet today. And hope you join us next time on K5Tunes.com.